G'day, Sambo here. Finally got around to getting my freezer. I used to have a fridge in there. My fridge died up in the city. And so I took the fridge from the shack to the city. Um, which is okay because, you know, I'm going to go off grid. I need something a little bit more efficient. And so I've gone and bought this freezer. It's a 145 litre chest freezer. It's about just over five cubic feet for Americans and some Canadians. And I'm going to change out the thermostat on it and convert it to a fridge. You know, these freezers are more efficient. They're designed to keep things colder for longer. And if I can convert it to a fridge, it should be even more efficient again. But anyway, just in the, because I like testing things to make sure how well they work, I've put this in. It's um, been sitting there open for a few hours, let the gas settle a bit. And I'm just going to plug it in with my kilowatt meter and let it run for 24 hours and we'll see how it goes. Just so I can get a standard of where the uh, electricity usage is at. Then I'll do the conversion. I'll let the fridge get back, let the freezer get back to ambient temperature and check it again. And I'll also have an idea of the temperatures as well. I've got a thermometer I can just drop the end, end in. So it's just an indoor outdoor thermometer, I'll just drop the end in there. Close the lid. So the temperature inside, the outside temperature, that's the probe I just dropped into the fridge. Jeez, look at that. That's pretty clever. So let's plug it in and see what happens. 56 watts with the compressor running. When the compressor kicked in, it was about 600 watts. Let's have a look. There you go, 592 watts was the high when the compressor kicked in. 51 watts with the compressor running. Now I know with my old fridge, it was about a 13 cubic foot fridge, 365 litres. Um, with the compressor running, it was sitting on about 122 watts. So straight away I know that this is going to be more efficient. So anyway, I'll come back in 24 hours and see how we're getting on. Alright, it's pretty close to 24 hours I've had this running now. Let's have a look at the temperatures. So currently sitting at minus 13 Celsius. 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold has been minus 20 Celsius. Minus 5.6 Fahrenheit. Now let's have a look at the kilowatt meter. So it's current years 0.468 kilowatt hours for the 24 hour period. That's my voltage. Low usage 2.7 watts. High usage 964.5 watts. Compressor's running at the moment 59 watts. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to turn it off, I'll let it thaw, heat up to the ambient temperature again, I'll get the conversion done, and then we'll do another test. Righto, this is a VB7 thermostat, it's a swap in replacement for most refrigerator freezer thermostats. It's designed for like drinks refrigerators. There's the probe there, that'll get shoved up inside the freezer. And we'll set this up. Alright, now I've put this back to original condition. Um, just to show you what I did and how easy it is to change out these thermostats. The safety cell is out there. First things first, 
make sure you've got the bloody thing unplugged. Behind this panel, there's 240 volts now. If you put your finger in the wrong spot, it's going to go zap and let the magic smoke out. And probably let the magic smoke out of you as well. And if you're not comfortable working with electricity, get someone that bloody knows what they do. Now line is bad, but this is what I'm after here. This is a temperature probe, goes up inside the freezer. Runs up inside this little plastic tube here. And just gently pull it out. So that's it there. Now we'll move around to the other side. Alright, now remember, I've already done this once, I've actually got the thermostat disconnected. So I'll just get a knife, pry this knob out. Get a screwdriver in to pry the fascia out. And there's your thermostat. That's that probe that goes up inside the freezer for the temperature. And we turn the fascia around and see the nut holding that shaft in there. Remove the nut. Unplug the thermostat, pull that out. Now it's just a matter of connecting it up. So once you've got your thermostat connected up, you just put it back through the back of the fascia there, put the nut back on, get your knob lined up, press that in, and then just press the fascia back in. Let's go back around and do this temperature probe. And very gently locate that tube. Shove that probe up in there all the way. As far as it'll go. That's it. Tuck the rest of it in there out of the way. Close that panel up and that's it, job done. Alright, and then once you've got it done, plug it in. Look at that, original fascia, original light. And then it's just a matter of getting a thermometer with a um, probe on it that you can put inside the freezer and just adjust that thermostat until it gets to the stage where, where this can actually work as a fridge. Right now the compressor's just come on. Temperature got up to 4.5 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm happy with that. I don't want it really going any warmer than that. There you go. We've got down to minus 4.1 degrees Celsius. Oh, still dropping. The compressor's turned off. 
but minus 4.1 is where the compressor stopped. Been going for close to 8 hours now, and it's used 0 0.057 kilowatt hours. That's 57 watt hours. 8 hours of runtime. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll keep the test going, but I think we can work count on this using less than 200 watt hours for the 24 hour period. Probably going to be up around 180 watt hours, I would say. Right, I've been going for 24 hours for this test. The chest freezer converted to a fridge. And there's the usage for 20, 24 hours. 0.191 kilowatt hours, that's 191 watt hours. There's my voltage. Low usage, 10.5 watts. High usage. 1012 watts. Now, this is just a cheap freezer. I didn't bother looking for the most efficient model. Straight away, I avoided the warranty. I'm not worried about that. I just got a cheap freezer that I can turn into a fridge. And by swapping out the thermostat, I've reduced the power usage from 468 watt hours as a freezer. For a 24 hour period to 191 watt hours as a fridge for a 24 hour period now overall you know if you're running this off the grid that's a few cents a day but running this off of solar it can make the difference because that's less solar panels I need less batteries I need all that sort of jazz so anyway Thanks for watching, I hope this has been a help and I'll see you in the next video.